What's up guys, Active Daily. So recently I put up a video about, about food struggles and about trying to compensate for what I ate the day before by getting an early workout in and then you know doing a lot of it in order to compensate for the meal I had the night before. And then also after that, thinking about later in the day that you that I get to like treat myself you know whether it's a dessert or whatever it is you know something topped in gravy and cheese and all that but but now you know for about the last I would say a week or so I was able to actually for about the last four to six weeks I've been concentrating on eating real foods and eating at home so that's the thing like eating food that's prepared at home I have a huge propensity for eating out. I don't know, I just, I like it. I like going, and actually, I don't even necessarily like eating at restaurants. I just like going out to buy food and bring it home. So, as I've been concentrating on that, it's been a lot easier to, well, eat clean, eat healthy, and eat still tasty foods, right? But, you know, this last week or so, um, for one, I really upped how much clean food I was eating and how often. So I, you know, went from like 220 to 215, feel lighter, feel better. But then yesterday, you know, I realized once again, man, I feel crappy and more than crappy. I just feel um, low energy. And although, although I've done the calculations over the years and and eaten the right amount of calories these days I don't know just I have a hard time eating enough of the right calories so I don't have a hard time eating the right foods now well I still do but you know, a little but I have the hard, a hard time eating the right quantities it's like as much as I know I need to eat about 3,000 maybe 3,500 calories when I'm working out um, like it's like I don't know what a thousand calorie meal looks like anymore. It's super weird. And then this other weird thing happens to me where I I actually start kind of mentally trying to count the calories and I get really worried about overeating when I eat clean. And typically what happens is I don't eat enough. So the last three days I didn't eat enough and that resulted in yesterday to where I was just, you know, grumpy, lack of motivation, just not not feeling good you know and it's it's hard to be the best version of ourselves when we don't physically feel well you know I just felt beat up and tired and I was told at about 12 30 or 1 o'clock in in the day yesterday that I just look like blank Um, so I went I went to go work and then after I got home I just ate an outrageous amount of calories and what do you know I feel better this morning Um, it's just crazy I didn't realize I had such a such a hard time I didn't realize I had such a hard time with food you know like I don't know how much to eat even though so it's like this like mentally I know how much I need to eat you know 3,000 3,500 when I work out 2,500 ish when I don't work out but it's like, I don't know how to do that anymore. You know, it's like a, it's not like riding a bike. And then on top of that, even if I know what a good plate looks like, it's like, I don't eat enough because I worry about overeating. So I just been like really struggling. Either I eat way too much or way not enough. And I've been having a hard time fighting this middle ground. So, you know, talking with some, some of the people in my, in my circle, I, uh, I think I got to double check, but I'm going to go seek some professional help. You know, I'm going to go talk to a nutritionist, dietitian, and just, just kind of like really dial in once again, what it is to have, you know, the appropriate amount of food. I already know what too much looks like and what the wrong quality is. That's real easy, right? And we all know what that looks like. A box of donuts is (laughs) one donut, a box of them, but yeah, I didn't realize I had so many issues with food. Like, I, I, I feel terrible if I 
if I'm eating clean. I just have like this really big anxiety about eating too much. Like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna overeat. However, if it's time to eat a bacon cheeseburger or a pizza or whatever, all that caloric you know, values get thrown right out the window and I could care less. So I just have, I, I know there's some kind of issue with my relationship with food, like emotionally and mentally and emotionally. And I'm gonna work on figuring that out. You know, even though, even though I haven't seen my therapist in quite a while for, for like, you know, addiction related stuff, I may have to go, I may have to go talk to him again about what's going on with me. It's so funny. I never thought, and this is the thing I've lost, I've lost weight on a couple of different occasions, a significant amount of weight. You know, back in 2004, I went from 300 pounds to 200 pounds. In 2008, I went from 250 to 200. And it was like, I don't wanna call it easy, but it was fairly simple and easy. Like it was it eventually became really easy to execute. But these days, my like relationship with food versus my desire to, to eat clean, it's just like I can't get them all in line, you know? I know I wanna eat clean to get leaner uh, feel healthier and then the biggest thing so that I can help somebody else with it you know and then not that I can't help somebody with it but I want to be able to feel good about it you know it's kind of like when I was a salesperson for a long time it, it's like that old thing where you, you got to believe in what you sell you know and belief I believe is more than just like a mental thing like I have to like emotionally and spiritually like I just got to feel good all the way right from head to heart and I haven't felt that good about any type of, you know, nutrition advice I've given between my head and my heart. My head knows the heart's not feeling too great about it because I don't feel like I was living a very good nutrition lifestyle, you know, maybe 50-50, you know, and, and I don't know, I just feel like that's, I feel like that's not right for me. I mean, maybe 50-50 is right for someone else, but me specifically, I just wasn't feeling good about it. I feel fairly good about a 80-20 kind of thing, a 90-10, you know, healthy to quote unquote unhealthy foods, but that's why I need to figure out what my food issues are, you know, my the emotional issues, whatever mental issues I have, this anxiety I have about overeating, I gotta figure this stuff out so that way, hopefully, I can pass on some good information to the next person. So, appreciate you guys listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Active Recovery Life. Message us with any questions, anything addiction related. Um, if you're a family member or or a friend of somebody who's who's struggling or suffering with addiction, any of those any of those issues, uh, please reach out to us. Send me an email, Travis at ActiveRecoveryLife.com. Take care, my friends. Be well, and of course, stay active.